Hello, what's up guys? Today, I'm gonna show you how you can fix your application or game that keeps crashing or freezing. So, this is actually uh, pretty easy to fix. And by the way guys, during this video, if you have problems, you can just join Error Fix. And let's start off. So, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to Settings. So this is the first fix that you can do. And then what you need to do is go to devices. I mean storage, I'm sorry. And by the way guys, if you can like and subscribe, thank you so much. So click on system storage. And on here, you want to go to saved data. So, for example, if you uh, have a lot of crashings on Grand Theft Auto 5 or maybe Minecraft, what you need to do is click on this. And then you want to click Start and you want to delete it, the last, um, the last uh, data that you got, the save file. But I, like I said, you will be deleting a save file. And by the way, if it says like error on the save file, make sure you delete that one because that's the uh, problem that's going on that's the reason like why your application keeps crashing or game so what about the next fix so with this you don't need to delete a data or um, things like that what you need to do but this is gonna take a little bit longer but these are the only fixes what you can use so um, you want to go to power and you want to turn it off. <coughs> so make sure your PS4 is turned off completely. So you don't see like a white light flickering or something like that. So what you need to do guys is you want to keep holding the power button on the PS4. And you want to hear two beeps and that's one beep right there. and a second beep and leave it like this. Just stop holding it. And if you see nothing on your screen like this, if it says like error or something like that, what you need to do is you just want to grab your TV remote and just press on source and hover back to PS4. So now you will see this screen right here. Safe mode, connect the DualShock 4 using the USB cable and then press the PS button. So just exactly do that. So once you connect it to your controller, by the way guys, you can only use these ones. Uh, the X button, the circle button, and you can't use these ones, so don't try it. So press the PS button. And like I said, it does work with these ones, you just have to try these, the D-pads. And what you are, uh, want to go is rebuild database. So what will rebuild database do? It will delete all the corrupted data uh, that's on your PS4. Don't worry guys, it won't delete everything on your PS4. It's just looking for uh, errors or corrupted things on your PS4 that may cause the crashing on games or applications. So I actually had this problem with Apex Legends my application kept crashing and crashing and what i did was i went to safe mode like i'm doing now and i went to rebuild database and i just rebuilt my database and i will even show you some proof guys that it doesn't delete anything it only deletes like errors and corrupted things like i said so your ps4 just will automatically restart So there's only five seconds left. So I'm gonna grab my controller. And by the way, guys, like I said, if you can like and subscribe, thank you so much. It will just be helping me out. And like you see, we are locked in. And by the way, we have all of our games. Maybe it could happen that they switched places it's normal on rebuilding your database but the real question is do we have all of our data so it's calculating a 
and like you see we have still our system storage like you see everything is inside and we have just everything so guys what if you still have problems what you also can do if you have still have problems you can just go to communities and you can join error fix or query uh, we will discuss some problems like there are over 5000 people or members in it so make sure you join it you can ask questions everything on it so by the way uh, this was the video thanks for watching and goodbye